today we are going to see the detonation of explosive in explicit dynamics now this is a problem which I am going to solve this is actually a problem in which there are two plates one is at top and one is at bottom and explosive is kept in between these two plates like this and this explosive is detonated at the detonation point and after detonation these plates are going to fly in air so this simulation is carried out in ANSYS explicit dynamics and I'm going to show how to solve this simulation in this software so let us start with explicit dynamics I will open engineering data I will add explicit materials I'll click on explicit materials now the library of materials in ANSYS itself will be visible here so the explicit dynamic materials which are there in ANSYS database are here so I'll choose aluminum 2024 with Steinberg model I'll just click on this plus sign yeah now this will be available in simulation then I will choose one model for explosive I will choose HMX TNT so we have HMX TNT for explosive and aluminium for two plates top and bottom plates I will minimize this now I will go to geometry and I will use design modeler to generate a geometry I'll go to XY plane. I'll generate one sketch. Before that, I'll change the initial millimeter. Millimeter fit. Okay. So this is 70 mm. It's okay. Sketch, sketching. We will draw one rectangle. Okay, so this is a rectangle, I'll get dimension. Okay, so let's keep it a 60 and then this is to Okay, let me put it as a 3 mm. Okay. Well, extrude. Well, frozen. To 20 mm. Generate. I'm sampling new sketch the sketch to rectangle okay dimension general
let's keep it uh, 60 and then this is 7 mm now I'll extrude this to a distance of 20 and I'll generate okay so this two top and bottom slabs are ready now I'll generate again case number three sketch number three H3 again one rectangle okay. dimension general okay it is restricted so I should not give it because it is equal to this all this horizontal dimensions it is automatically constrained so no need to constrain just I will give constraint to this dimension let's keep it at 2 mm okay then now when you extrude and frozen generate okay so now we have three solids this one is one plate at top this one is explosive and this is bottom plate okay now I'll close this and then I'll move to measure now we have got geometry in mesh generation 2 here what I will do, I need to change the materials here. Change to aluminium. Then this one is a HMX TNT, and this one is a aluminium. Okay. Now there is connections, so we actually don't need any contacts. The board interaction is on just generate a mesh okay this is a mesh a default mesh I am using here I can't I can't use the finer mesh because this is a academic license it has restrictions on mesh mesh size okay so we have done this now I'll go and insert a detonation point so detonation point should be inside the explosive so this is actually a, a location of the detonation point so just I will change its Z coordinate I will change to okay just I will change the units this here mm okay so Z I will put as a 10 mm yeah so now detonation point is inside this explosive material okay now this analyst setting is waiting to give us uh, in time well, let me put as a 20 microsecond this is 20 microsecond and next thing I need to change is actually a time safety factor for explosives generally it is recommended to put 0.67 I will put 0.6 it is recommended to use a 0.67 but I will choose 0.6 for more safety okay no problem okay our problem is ready to be solved now I will just solve this problem can see the solution information it is solving 
it will reach to 20 microsecond and then it will stop okay now this is a wrap up time reached which is 20 microsecond which we have given in this analysis setting 20 microsecond okay so we have problem is turned it as wrap up time is reached now we will go to graphics and see the results so results i will go to solution insert deformation total deformation and evolve evaluate this total deformation here if you see it is all mess but you can see the plates top plate and a bottom plate and this all is explosive it is busted okay when the elements are all elongated and distorted so this is uh, actually uh, why this happened is due to the fact that we have used uh, Lagrangian for top plate Lagrangian for explosive and Lagrangian for bottom plate generally for explosive it is recommended to use uh, Eilerian swallowers we'll see about this we'll change this and see how it changes the results in next tutorials but right now we'll just see the Lagrangian solution so this is uh, this is actually a pretty uh, I will say match matches with the uh, Eilerian results because if you see the velocities of this top plate and bottom plates they will actually match with a uh, theoretical Gurney's equation if we use the Gurney's equation and put these and explosive values then whatever the plate velocities you will get this will match with this result so although it is a Lagrangian it has given a good results I say okay so just see the velocities of the plate deformation and direction velocities I will choose a y-axis y-axis okay then evaluate results yeah so if I probe the velocities here this is actually uh, let me change the into to meter per second 1500 and this is 2046 uh, let me choose some different time step uh, this results okay okay some different time step yeah then the velocities are 1628 meter per second and 2057 now I will just animate these things so this is how the explosion takes place and plates are flying so I will just hide this explosive then things will be much more clear okay yeah I can see how the plates are flying so like that you can solve the explosive problem in explicit dynamics yeah, thank you for watching.